We finally have a good draw, guys. Golden and blue on a dark castle. So I'm gonna just basically get the maximum amount of monkey money you can possibly get with golden balloons. And that is by doing an impoppable on expert map. So hard on the rounds. So you notice here, you get 240 monkey money. If you already beat an impoppable, uh, the repeat monkey money you get is only 240. But you can make that up to 20% higher by playing on, you know, the hardest difficulty. So, and Popple's gonna be kind of rough, especially with Sada, because it's such a tiny radius that she, she can do damage, but it'll have to do. So, I believe the max amount of monkey money you get on this map is 60. Every uh, 10 rounds, it can spawn. A Gold Boo can spawn within a 10 round window, starting from round 21 up to 100. I will shout out Ethan Reed's video for this, because that's where I actually got most of his info from. He made a video that, uh, Basically explained how the Golden Balloon works very well. Basically, the Golden Balloon has tougher and tougher properties the further it is. So it's not just one Golden Balloon like it was in BT5. The first one's going to come out any round between 21 and 30, I believe. Or is it 20, 29? Either way, it's in the 20s. And that one, um, I believe, is easily beatable. Easiest way to beat it is with an Ice Boy. Which I guess I'll get now. Zero, one, two. Hopefully it reaches that bottom lane. If not, then I messed up. So yeah, basically the reward system, it goes, yes. There'll be eight golden balloons in this game. Because every ten rounds. So the first four gives five monkey money. And then the last four give ten. For a maximum of 60. During the whole game. I, I saw a lot of people complaining that golden balloons didn't give, give enough money. But, I mean, it's bonus money. It's literally extra. You can't really complain about free stuff, right? Even if it's only a little bit. That's a whopping 20% more. 25% more, actually, on a pop of all. 240 to 300 if you pop every goal in the balloon. That sounds pretty, uh, stonks to me. Apparently, somebody said the golden balloon only spawns on the top, the, the first path if it is a multi lane map. So that would mean the golden balloon spawns up here. Hopefully, that is the case, because if not, then. There's a chance it might spawn in the wrong lane, like down here. Anytime, man. I also will remove the trees later on, so I have more time to react to the Golden Balloon. Did you know Sada's Korean? They they mentioned it in the Ninja QE update video in the description. I don't think they mentioned it anywhere else, but yes, she's Asian. Good to know. Oh, there it is, there it is. So, it does spawn top path, and I'm going to 0-1-2 Ice Tower. See that? As long as no other towers are attacking it, I do believe it is a permafreeze. Let's see. Nice! Five monkey money. So, I believe the next one that spawns is Camo, so I would need to get a 0 to 0 village for the Ice Tower, so... I cannot greed. I gotta go for the village now. And if it does spawn top path, then... That almost confirms that it only spawns on path 1. Again... It could be a extreme coincidence, but I would doubt that if it continues spawning on path 1. Do I know if it's possible to decamo the Golden Blue with Shimmer? Uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but you cannot decamo it. So I can't use 300 sub, I can't Shimmer, I can't uh, counter espionage. It has to be given camo with like a village or something with Etienne. A lot of money. Hopefully it doesn't spawn now, otherwise I'm screwed. Yeah, what, what do I do if it spawns now? Do I. Try to sell the farm. Again, my goal is to get every golden balloon to maximize in profits. Although, technically, I am losing monkey money because I am playing this slowly. Like, it's probably easier just to play impoppable, fast forwarded with your main strategy, than it is to play slowly to catch every golden balloon to maximize your profit off one game. Because obviously, if you're talking about like a per hour uh, standpoint, a rate, then. Trying to pop every golden balloon by slowing down the game is not efficient. There it is. Next golden balloon's lead. Yeah, okay. So we have two options. We can buy a mib or we can let it leak. Uh, I think we have to buy a mib. Apparently Ice can just pop the golden balloon or freeze it even without mib. I mean, it would be safer just to buy it. Maybe if it hits another balloon while a golden balloon's in range, it'll freeze it even though it can't. If so, then that's cool. 
But do I want to, do I really want to risk that? Oh, there's a golden balloon. I forgot about it because it didn't come for such a long time, but uh, we'll get five from this. Five from this pop. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure this can be in a Moab. Level 8 Sada. I will use Sword. Please, 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 please. Nope. So apparently the Golden and Blue changed maps when I lost. Went home. I is that how it's supposed to work? I'm scammed. I'm getting scammed. Look. Why did it move? I'm not even done the game yet. If I exit it after it shows that it moves. So what do I do now? Do I have to restart and play Money Puddles? <laughs> so I basically got a black border. If I want to get all of the monkey money. Like, let me just die there. Alright, screw that. Uh, Money Puddle is impoppable, I guess. Wait, so I don't want to work on this map. Full map range time. So I have Alchemist for 28 leads. Hopefully he gets all of them. If not, I am in trouble. I am in trouble if not. Come on. Okay, so... I keep trying not to back out, but I... I don't have a blackboard strategy on a pop-up ball. I'm trying to play, uh, greedy, if you will. And now it's back on Dark Castle, are you, all right? You know, don't mess this up. We've learned twice now what not to do, so we will not mess up. Back on Dark Castle, we will get it this time. For sure. So, because somebody told me crowd cannons are good, instead of going for the 9k Mib, I'm gonna go for the cheaper crowd cannon, the 203. I'm gonna see if that is as reliable as the 012. So, apparently, Sauna, if you use level 3, she will one shot the SRAMs. Now, I will have money going to this round. Let's see, what's the cheapest way to pop the uh, mob quickly? I would say Maulers, two of them. Alright, uh, I'm kind of risking it here. Yes, that's the one shot right there. Alright, so uh, I'm going to sell these now, because now, at any time, the Golden Blue can spawn, and I am going to uh, get my Crow Cannon ready. You know, let me just buy it, straight up. There it is. I will keep this guy around, uh, just cause. Reasons. Losing on purpose of- Oh, there it is. Here it is. I'm pretty sure this guy froze it first. Like, yeah, there is some sort of bug, guys. There is some bug where this guy can freeze the golden balloon. There is five. So, what's uh, the round 50 immunity we get? It doesn't matter because now we have this guy that gets everything. He has, um, lead properties. Actually, there's ice, there's zebra properties later on with the Golden Bloom, but that doesn't come to like, round 80. Not so much later. Next one apparently is Camo and Lead. Yeah, we, we got this guy, it's fine. Another really underrated or really good tower against Golden Bloom, I've heard, is Downdraft. Because apparently the Downdraft works first before the, uh, attack comes in. Because, like, if you hit the Golden Bloom with an attack... It apparently either jumps forward, backwards, or something else. But with downdraft, it'll always use the knockback first. So it will never jump forward before it damages, which is pretty OP. So I'm probably going to get that just as an emergency. Right now I think I'm fine though, so I'm just going to chill with this. You know, I'm kind of curious. How does Sada's level uh, 10 work? There's four lanes. Will she spawn four instances on uh, Dark Castle? So that like this middle lane... Does four times the damage? Or is it just one that splits to one lane? Like, let me just test here. It's hard to see, actually. It's 4x damage to center. That's pretty OP, then. That's pretty good. Can't wait to unleash it. Now, before that, yeah, you know what? I'm still kind of scared. So, I'm going to get a perma spike set up. Guarantee I don't lose to anything. Oh, there we go. Yep. The very last round can spawn. Round 60. Again, I couldn't see there whether or not this guy attacked first, but if you look at the ranges, this technically is closer. Yeah, I don't know why it's attacking, even though it can't hit leads. It's weird. But I'll take it. Five monkey money. And hopefully we can beat a BFB here. Yes. Let me see what I want for 63. Oh! 
Uh, here we go. The Golden Balloon is fortified. Back to back rounds with, with a Golden Balloon. Looks like this guy can still hit it. <laughs> Man, this Crack Cannon's useless. Nice bug. Who will win? One Golden Balloon or just a 1000 Tower Ice Boy? And here we go. Yep, we get double now. 10 Monkey Money. Awesome. Awesome. The last four, the last three that spawn in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, they'll each give 10. We're well on our way to a maximum of 60 of this game. Um, now, how do I beat the 63? What do I want to get? Maelstrom? I think one Maelstrom can still beat the entirety of 63. Let me just see. Time it properly, though. Good. Yeah, despite the Pierce nerf, it should still work. Yeah, probably Mob Glue. Basically, supports to slow down balloons here, I think, is a good idea. So, let me just clear that out real quick. I was kind of scared. Like, I just gotta get some towers to hold the line. Hold the line until, uh, Perma Spike. I think the 70s Golden Balloon is, uh, white immunity. It, zebra? Alright, let's get it. Minus 9k. Which means we're further off from Perma Spike. A little further off. I'm gonna have to do some math about when I can't afford it, so... Oh, there it is. Nice, we froze it. But yeah, you can see it clear there. The fortified, the purple, the, like all the properties on it. And I do believe they have more HP the further they go. That being said, let's do some math. Crunch some numbers here. These mirrors from the 7k, 9k, 13, 18. All right, I bet 18,000 I can sell everything for a promise spike. And keep the uh, farms. There's plus 10. You know what? I'm scared about 75. Let's just do it now. So we're going to end the round off. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. And see ya, see ya. Perma spike. The round 75 perma spike. And now we should be worrying less. So now they got the P spike. I think we're safe to uh, go with down drafts. Again, I just want to get this. Park it here just in case the Golden Bloom does get by. Although, I am almost certain it shouldn't. There's no way it should get by. Like, if you can't move the Golden Bloom, if it's frozen, then there's no way it, it's going to get past here. Which is good. But again, you can never be too safe. <laughs> Literally just one, one Ice Tower counters it. Which is kind of crazy to think about. 30k, what to spend on? Nah, eh, probably just a commander. Why not? Again, I, I don't want to get intel just because I don't want anything. I just want my plain ice towers annihilating that golden balloon. Just to leave just to show a message. Just to show the message, man, that ice towers are OP. All you need is one thousand dollars. And uh a fifteen K tower village, but we'll just talk about the one K ice tower. So it's this round, next round. The uh, round 80 golden balloon comes. Looks like it will be uh, the last round. Yeah, no spawn. Unless I missed it, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. It's very obvious when it comes in. Like, you see that giant monkey money text? Yep, there it is. As I expected. It's actually kind of fun when it's the latest spawn. So you know it's coming. Why no 024 saw? Because I'm stupid. Oh, there it is. Last golden balloon. So. Beat this, and we get the maximum for the game, 60. Again, not worth the time effort, I will be I'll be honest, but extra monkey money is extra monkey money. Don't try to get the maximum monkey money from Golden Balloons in a game. It's really not worth it. But if you can get it, then yeah, do it. So, y'all want to see uh, Sada do a lot of damage? Watch this. Level 20. And eh, not bad, actually. I actually kind of expected more, but... Like, yeah, yeah, what I wanted to do was wait till all balloons were converged, so that it get the X4 on everything. Because you saw, when they split, obviously it didn't do as much damage as it could have, but... I didn't want to do that, because then she would stop attacking, but... Why would you want her to stop attacking when she's doing this much? Just look at that. Why would you give that up? Kroon will give it up. So, 99. Should be fine. Yep. 
should pop right here. ZMGs. We'll use the X4 and uh, done. Victory screen. Yeah, it does show you also how much monkey money you gained. So that is the maximum, 60. All eight golden balloons. 20% more monkey money. Actually, with the knowledge, it's, uh, let's do some math here real quick. 324 over 264. 22.7% more monkey money. Wow. That's definitely worth the effort. <laughs> Anyways. Good game.